Hello everyone, in one of my tutorials I showed you how to get GPS coordinates from the Android device. Now let's see how can we convert these coordinates to the actual physical address. In the Android there is a class which is named Geocoder that actually can do this for us, but it does not work very well. Sometimes you will get results, sometimes you won't but uh, there is approach that will always give you the result and that is if you use the geocoding API. So first thing first, go to the developer console site and then go to the API manager. Look for the geocoding API and enable it. As we enable this service we must create an identification key to be able to use the actual service. So click on credentials then create a new API key. For the key type choose the server key and just hit create. This is our key that we need so make a note for it. Now switch to the Android app. In the manifest file Enable the internet permission for network requests. And also in the build.gradle settings, we'll use the volley library for easy networking. In our main activity XML file, there is a button which will send the request to the server and text view in which the response will be shown. So, in our main activity, let's reference our views as well as request queue for the volley library. Then set the listener on the button and inside of it we will create a new JSON object request with the following URL. After the latitude longitude parameter you must provide your location coordinates and after that you just append the request with the parameter named key and in this parameter you paste the key that you got from the developer console site. Ok, so now we need to parse the response that we get from the server. Let's first see how the response looks like. As you see we have a JSON response, an array named results that contains objects. Object that we need is the first one because it contains information about formatted address and that is the information we are looking for. So if we follow, follow this path we will type response.getjson array results then to get the first object type get json object with the index of 0 and to access the formatted address field use method get string with the formatted address as a parameter and that's it. I'll just write this string to the text view and also don't forget in the end to add the request to the request queue. Now let's start the emulator and as you can see we get the response very fast. So thanks for watching guys see you next time bye bye.